During Esther Williams' heyday in the 40s and 50s, aquatic musicals were all the rage, making the ex-champion swimmer one of MGM's biggest box office successes. One-piece bathing suits were the thing, with the revealing styles showcased by Williams setting seaside trends. And while times have changed since the fabulous 50s, even back then, women's swimsuits had come a long way. You don't expect me to go 20 miles in one of those things, do you? Million Dollar Mermaid is the story of Annette Kellerman, considered the first female professional swimmer. Williams chose to play Kellerman because, like herself, the Australian champion was a trendsetter of sorts. It was a fascinating story. She was banned in Boston because at the time that she was swimming, she wore a man's swimsuit and she sewed black stockings into the suit so that she would cover her legs because a woman was not supposed to expose her limbs in those days. Did you see that? Her legs are bare. In fact, in Kellerman's time, women's swimming attire was designed to keep them out of the water and their bodies out of sight. But partly through her innovations, the one-piece bathing suit was born. I consider that shocking, Your Honor. I consider it very ingenious. Movies like Million Dollar Mermaid made swimming fashionable. Williams' popularity sent people to the water in droves. Swimsuits got tighter, and gradually fabric got more and more economical. The trade-off was that taking it off the suit didn't always suit everybody. So fitness became a fad, and by the late 40s and early 50s, two pieces became better than one. Skin continued to be in in the 60s and 70s, with fabric eventually being replaced by string. Men were designing for what they wanted to see on the beach were those string bikinis. So you go ride a wave and the whole front part of your suit is around the back part, and it shouldn't be that way. Today, Williams is designing her own swimsuit line, and wouldn't you know it, the classic one piece is making a comeback. And while the fabulous art of water ballet from Million Dollar Mermaid has gone the way of underwater hot dog stands, it remains the stuff that classics are made of. There's something very beautiful about water. You're weightless in water, and you feel free, and I think there was a lot of empathy. I think people got in the water with me. See Million Dollar Mermaid, Monday on TNT.